All right, so let's get started talking about the buffs. I need to get these videos out before I update the tier list because I do have it already recorded, ready to upload. But I wanted to at least talk about these buffs first. So Santa Alter, this is a character I put on do not use for the tier list uh, before the buff. And I truly believe you really should not use this unit, this version of this unit. You should not have used this unit without the the skill buff because you just didn't do anything. No buffed MP, mana burst, and like almost nothing for the party, no battery. Using her would have been just a wave clear and that's it. Not worth the time. Now though, significantly better significantly better she has a spot in like esports uh you can technically use her in farming now but the units you would use with her are extremely not non-standard like you would not normally be using these units unless you were specifically uh trying to take advantage of her skill buff <clears throat> all right base attack it's about average 9.2 it's nothing amazing but at least it's not below like 8700 like getting into those really weird numbers for a four star like she can actually do some at least decent damage. hp not the highest but it's normal uh, it's like normal four star numbers star weight star gen these are rider numbers and be charged 0.87 they get we have to keep in mind that this is literally the first Santa Servant. They literally copied and pasted Artoria and Salter. They pretty much copy and pasted her kit and just made her a rider. Not, a, not entirely, but that is a big portion of what they did. And if you know anything about those two, it's that, especially OG Artoria, her hit counts are atrocious. She is them letting her change her cards into Buster makes it so that all of her cards can actually refund when you get bitch unironically. Like if you turn the quick uh quick card into Buster, I think you actually gen more uh gauge from it with double bitch. Like you get at least 20. I don't think you're gonna come anywhere close to that without it. Maybe in a mighty chain in the trades, but outside of that this isn't gonna this isn't gonna gen a whole lot you need to crit which she's a rider but you're not you, you before the buff you weren't that likely to actually crit it's different now but before you definitely weren't guaranteed to crit. first skill targeted heal 3500 and upster star gen or three why do they keep doing this or why is this still a thing not why that why do they keep doing this why is this still a thing this should have been buffed a long time ago 30 percent star gen literally isn't gonna do much it's not going to do shit. when you have a hundred percent star gen that's when arts cards can gen stars consistently when you have 30 do you even fucking notice it? The only ones you notice are like are like quick cards. You notice the star gen buff on quick cards. But like, uh, why? This skill needs this buffed, and I would I would like this a hundred percent. But I also there was some buff I wanted for it. It wouldn't, and I'm trying to remember what it was. Or I might be thinking about Jolter Lily. No, I think I'm thinking of Jolter Lily for what I wanted for this skill. Right, I wanted Jolter Lily to be able to give overcharge. For Salter Santa, I actually don't know what I want. I do want this to go get buffed to 100%, but I don't know 
what else to give it because that that's not enough of this above making this 100 percent not enough uh we'll come back to it in a second self battery self battery that's what i want a self battery or do they throw it on here so this was the last instinct in the game they buffed it there is no more instinct anywhere no character has instinct it's all buffed now tactics you're up next you're gonna get buffed out of the game so the buff skill is 10 percent gauge to the entire party overcharge one time one uh and it lasts for three turns party crit damage goes up 20 percent, and the star bomb is 30 stars okay yeah so after seeing this she needs battery for herself she 100 percent needs battery for herself this party battery it is nice don't get me wrong but this is year eight going on nine or this is nine going on. like yeah yeah this is year eight going on nine a character not having battery for a buster unit is almost a death sentence buster units need to have some kind of battery for themselves this is this is a start but this is aoe he still needs it for herself to make even the farming that i mentioned more viable much more viable third skill is a regular mana burst lower value 45 percent still one time uh one turn both of her skills are likely to get buffed but i think this this one actually is the one that needs to get looked at first we all saw what they did to salter they made that buff fucking ridiculous i don't know if they're actually gonna do that for this sermon maybe maybe not We don't know but if she were to get the same kind of buff salter got he would have like the same type of refund capabilities that would allow her to do like black Rail, i think it, like i can't do all the math in my head right now but i still think she needs just more battery like another ba another battery and this one could be small this could be like another 20. like because that's what they i don't want it to be targeted i mm. no like because this is targeted that's why i think the battery should be here like targeted 20. and then they buff this skill and make it three times three turns they don't have to do the salter stuff but they just need to make this uh or do something with it i don't know like just one one turn buster buffs they're not good they have no flexibility and if you have bad parting they're screwed if you get drained you're screwed if you get mp sealed you're screwed three times three turns even if it's not for farming it's still it's still better three times three turns is still better than a one turn buff no matter what like no one could ever argue argue that with me all right, passive skills, magic resist A, increases debuff resistance 20%. Riding A, 10% quick. He only has the one quick card, so not that good. Mana loading for future buffs, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to have all the coins. Anti-saber is because her OG version is uh, a saber. MP has never been buffed. It is literally the same as Salter. Still has the buffs, uh, scuff scaling, uh, and her overcharge is just too low. Her overcharge buff on her skill is not enough for herself. This only gets the refund to 15%. That's not going to do shit. It's not going to do shit. Like you, the type of farming 
that you would be using for a Santa altar. It would be during an event with a 50% CE. There is no conceivable way you're going to be able to start this servant off starting from zero. It's not going to happen. It needs to be a lotto with a 50% CE for you to even justify it. Because Bitch and Morgan are the two units that come to mind that deal with overcharge stuff with their farming. And I'm just talking specifically about Bitch Darkness. Morgan would work here. But I think the overcharge just isn't enough by itself for the flexibility you would need. And just what I mean by that is you pro like unless you are bringing her with Hoyan Dark, you're not going to have the cooldown reduction needed to be popping her third skill, which is an AoE 50 battery, like at the time you need to be able to pop these skills. Um, hang on, actually. This is, a, this is specifically a JP thing, so if you're not on JP, you don't have to be watching this. Um, but yeah, minus five. Okay, actually... Okay. Yeah, so actually, Vich Darkness plus Salter, you are able to pop her third skill, again, the AoE 50, on turn two. And then you can MP with Salter and uh, Vich Darkness. Huh. Like, ideally, you'd want all of them to be running 50% CEs. So, again, keep that would be only in a lotto. But that is a possibility you can do. It, like, this kind of buff is just something that is going to take time to see the full effects of. This has a lot going for it, but it's not on the right character for it. Uh, almost any other character that had more targeted skills, this would be a better buff. But it's so limited because of who the Serpent is. It, this is so limited just because it's Salter Santa, a year one welfare. Oh, well. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.